Welcome! I'm very happy to see you here and today we're gonna discuss one of the most debated topics, the second part of Upwork Skill Assessment. And if you don't know me, I'm a freelancer, a developer, and I'm here uh, sharing freelancing tips. So if you are interested in freelancing or if you want to start your career in this field, please subscribe and hit the like button. I hope there will be many videos that you find useful in my channel. And let's move on to the topic. So I have posted a video a month ago about Upwork skill certification and how I passed the first round. And then I just didn't post the second part due to some responsibilities, some time, time management problems and so on. So I just forgot about it, but many of you have emailed me, texted, asking about the second part. So I decided to post about it today. So basically the second part uh, was about JavaScript DOM manipulation and it was purely based on JavaScript. So, um, and then if you are uh, taking this test as a backend developer or Python developer, maybe you will take the second assessment that in Python. So I applied for frontend and I took this test in uh, JavaScript with JavaScript. Um, what I did prior to the examination is to go uh, to do some research. Basically, they they have also noted about this second part and what to expect, but there was very little information uh, provided by Upwork. So I decided to do my own research. I went to this code signal and then search for front-end skill-specific tests. Then I came across to a JavaScript test, which was skill-specific, uh, specific JavaScript test. And I believe you can download it as well. I will leave a link to the documentation, to the report. So it included questions about um, JavaScript, multiple choice questions and other, que other types of questions. So I saw them. To be honest, these questions are much harder than what you would expect in Upwork skill assessment. But as I had no idea, I was freaked out. I thought that's that's it. That's going to be very difficult. Then the, my test team came. I took the test. Um, and I also recommend you to take this practice test before you take take the real assessment. So after some practice tests, I took the real exam, the real test. It had four multiple questions, um, which were about JavaScript, like difference between var and let, and there were code snippets, and uh, they asked me about the output of this, and object-oriented JavaScript as well, yeah. Then uh, there were also three questions. It, which uh, were done in code editor. Uh, basically, all the three had this uh, loads of code that was already written for me, but some functionalities were missing, some styles were missing. So what they asked me was to implement this uh, uh, functionalities and fix bugs in some places. So it took me one and a half hours or one. I cannot really remember, but uh, the tasks were not so difficult compared to the report and compared to the first part of the examination, it was much easier. And because they were day-to-day -day tasks that a front-end developer would do at work, one thing to note here is that if you're a React developer or Vue or Angular, you don't have to be using these uh, frameworks libraries for this skill assessment because what they are asking is a pure JavaScript. So I would advise you to refresh your knowledge on DOM manipulation and the JavaScript concepts, advanced JavaScript concepts. And that would be it about it, the program. And I'll be linking document that I used to prepare for the examination and if you are going to take it don't be afraid I wish you good luck and 
I assume if you are watching this video up until now you have already passed the first assessment and you are doing great and I believe you can pass the second one as well. Um, moving on, I also want to talk about the benefits I received as a certified uh, developer on Upwork. As they have listed uh, during the benefits, I have been receiving invitations for more jobs and from uh, posted by talent assessment. Uh, talent assessment are those, um, they work between you and the client, they find good freelancers that are good fit for the job instead of the clients and they send invitations um, to the job instead of the client and if you accept you will directly talk to the client it will just works that way and what's more i have also got the chance to apply to talents code talents code as they describe it is a platform a branch of upwork or part of upwork where you don't have to pay any fees and where you will find lots of high paying fortune 500 companies and i applied here i applied to talents code and i had interviews on talents code and i passed it but this is a topic for another video. If you are interested, uh, just leave, uh, leave your comments below whether I should upload a video about talent code and how it works, its requirements. I'll be very happy to share. Just let me know. Um, and I guess that was it for this video. I hope you, you are doing great. Keep doing great. And bye bye.